50 kilometers south of the French capital is the forest of Fontainebleau. The forest is home to some of the best sandstone climbing in the world and has been attracting climbers of all abilities since the 1800s. Font has a pretty unique style, but there really is something for everyone in the forest. With over 50,000 established boulders and countless sectors to climb in, a week or two in Font fills barely enough time to scratch the surface. The climbing is varied, from the famous font slopers to roofs, credit card crimps, pockety highballs, dynamic climbs and rounded mantles that are perhaps impossible, you're sure to find something to suit all tastes and climbing styles. Yeah, go on. You got it, you got it. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Rock on it, rock on it, rock on it. We've been taking bouldering trips to the forest for four years now and I still feel like we've barely scratched the surface. So, if you've just booked your first trip to Font or you're headed to Font soon, this video should give you some idea of what to expect, the kinds of things that you're going to need to take with you, and most importantly, some tips and advice on how to make the most of your time there. So first, where to stay? So every time that we have gone to Font, we have gone in Doug, who is our T4 camper, but we haven't actually stayed in Doug, so we haven't camped in Font. We've actually booked a Jeep or an Airbnb, partly because um, every time we've been, we have been with friends, but also because it's not actually allowed to stay in the main crag car park. So you do see people camping a fair bit, but it's not, um, it's frowned upon basically. Um, for the reason that there are zero facilities or amenities, which means that ultimately people camping means that the forest suffers. Also, a week in font or two weeks in font can be tough on the body. <laughs> so it's nice at the end of a long day of climbing to be able to come home and have your creature comforts, um, to shower, relax, cook a nice dinner, get a good night's sleep. Um, so that's why we generally stay in Airbnbs or Jeets. We've stayed in Font itself and some of the surrounding suburbs like Millie La Forêt and Carances. Again, there's gonna be some absolutely horrendous pronunciation in this video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so getting around in Font, all of the boulders in the forest are spread out across sectors, across a 25 mile radius, as Font is actually a collection of climbing areas that encompasses three national forests and much of the climbing is miles from the actual city of Fontainebleau. This means if you want to climb in a variety of areas or check out lots of different sectors then you're going to need to travel between them and whilst it is possible to do this uh, by bike or by public transport or even on foot if you want. Um, each time that we have gone to Font we have hired a car and I feel like it affords you no, we haven't. We haven't hired a car. <laughs> We've taken our own car. I personally feel that having a car in front affords you more freedom to explore all of the areas and that is what we've done every time we drive our van um, from the UK, get on the ferry and that works really well. If you've never been to Font, you really can't imagine just how big the forest really is. There are so many sectors with so many climbs and each with their different benefits and drawbacks. There are some sectors that I know of being quick drying, like 95.2, and some places in Apremont and Gorge Our Chats. Some areas which are prone to overcrowding, uh, like Basse Cuvier and some parts of Franchard. My personal favourites are Apremont East, 95.2, and Franchard Hoytus Plains, which I have no doubt I'm pronouncing incorrectly. Um, but they're just really beautiful and really good for some lower grade circuits. The yellow circuit in particular at Franchard Hoytus Plains I think is one of my favourites. I definitely recommend visiting these on your first trip for some of the lower grade circuits to get you used to climbing in Font. Which brings me to circuits. Something really unique and great about Font is the numerous circuits scattered around the forest. There are over 1,000 circuits of different difficulties which wind their way around various crags, meaning that you can pick one and drag your mats around the forest trying each climb in the circuit, following the painted arrows and the numbers. And the circuits encompass all sorts of styles and can be a really fun way to spend a day bouldering in the forest. So, navigating the forest. The forest is huge and again, you don't really appreciate just how big font is until you get there. It's massive. And perhaps this speaks to my navigation skills rather than the forest itself, but font can be pretty difficult to get around with or without a map. Um, I've been lost in the forest a fair few times, so taking a decent map, sticking to marked paths, and always having some charge on your phone is probably a good idea, though you might not always have service. You can pick up maps of the area at the tourist information office, or you can use the maps in your guidebook. 
Fun is notoriously hard, so prepare yourself to learn how to climb all over again and don't go with too much expectation if you can. I've been climbing in the forest for four years now and fondling and bouldering is still a complete enigma to me so try not to sweat the grades too much and don't be discouraged if you can't get up the easy circuits uh, because we've all been there. For your trip to Fontainebleau you will need one bouldering mat, we use these organic mats, one chalk bag and chalk to go in it, a guidebook, we use Jingo Wobbly, boot bananas to keep those feet fresh, a couple of rolls of climbing tape, some hand balm, one natural fibre brush, a water bottle, a thermos for coffee and tea, a square of carpet to avoid sand grain on your shoes, a camera, some rehab equipment, a portable hangboard, bug spray, maps of the area, a lamp and some garbage disposal and toilet paper. Tips and advice for your first trip to Font. My first piece of advice for a trip to Font would be to perfect your top out technique or your mantle strength or whatever it is that gets you up and over a boulder. To strengthen the muscles generally involved in a top out movement, I like to train dips, triceps, wrists and glute strength in the run up to Font. But however it is that you like to make sure that you're nailing top outs, do lots of it because you're going to need that top out strength in font. My second tip might sound really simple and obvious but it is to stay hydrated but there's a little bit more to it than just drinking water. Climbing all day every day for a number of days in a row can be really tasking on the body especially if you're in font over the spring and summer and it's really easy to get dehydrated and for our electrolyte levels to drop. Our climbing performance is actually really dependent on the presence of electrolytes and adequate hydration. But when we're climbing, obviously we lose electrolytes and dehydrate really quickly. Electrolyte rich foods include most vegetables, avocados, sweet potatoes, yogurt, whole grains, lentils and dried beans. The best guidebooks in my opinion for font that I have found are the Jingo Wobbly guidebooks. I'm looking down because this is our copy, this has been very well thumbed, but this is Fontainebleau thumb block and I believe there are a couple of extra versions, top secret being one of them, but these are really good all round guidebooks. The thing that I really like about the Jingo Wobbly guidebooks is the photographic maps of each uh, sector with all the routes marked and all the boulders shown which makes finding climbs a lot more straightforward. We really like the Jingo Wobbly guidebooks, we have this one and top secret I believe, but I definitely recommend these. Um, for your first trip to Font if you don't have any guidebooks yet. I, these ones are good. My next piece of advice in Font is you're going to want to look after your skin. So we typically take some kind of like salves and balms. We use Rhino Skin, Joshua Tree and Climb On I think are some of the brands that we've used before but they're all generally kind of like similar, a similar idea. Um, one thing that I also always take with me on climbing trips is a lip balm. I think I actually have, it's probably, yeah. <laughs> I always have um, a climb on lip balm with me because I find after a day climbing my lips get really dry but I also apply, I sometimes apply this to my fingertips and I think same principle. Um, basically it just helps to keep your skin pliant and hydrated and to heal a little bit quicker. Despite being a really great climbing area, Font is also really beautiful in general. Rest days are a really great way to maximise your climbing overall and they afford a really good excuse to head to the chateau or explore the area, go on a walk, say hi to the local bovine creatures or visit the local bakery or walk the numerous hiking routes around the forests. So my last tips boil down to two things, respecting the area and respecting the rock. So respect the area. This can include not lighting fires, not playing loud music or leaving rubbish, sticking to existing paths as much as you can to reduce erosion and not camping in the car parks. To respect the rock you can bring or buy a small piece of carpet or a towel or doormat to clean your climbing shoes before you try a problem. Strictly avoid metallic brushes and opt for more natural fibres to brush chalk off the climb. Clean your tick marks and chalk, leaving the climb how you found it when you got there and not climbing when it's wet. It weathers the rock much more quickly and holes can break. So guys, that is 
it. A quick whistle stop tour of Font, like a Font 101. Um, if you have got a trip to Font coming up, then I hope that you have the best time. Um, I'm sure that you will love it. It's an amazing place, it really is. It really is an amazing place and we hope to be back soon and um, we actually spent new year there so i'm not sure when if at all we will be back this year but i hope that we will because it is just one of our very favorite places so i hope that you found this video useful hopefully you picked up a few tips or just enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one She said without any doubt, you know I want you That's not end of the day. What would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>